when the narcissist regrets leaving you. When the narcissist was with you, they didn't spend much time with you. They didn't appreciate anything you did for them. They didn't listen to you or share your feelings. They took you for granted. They acted as though anyone would be willing to do the same, if not more for them. They acted as though you were an inconvenience to them. As though you couldn't do anything right. As though everything you did wasn't good enough. They were very ungrateful. They were very unappreciative. And yet they had this delusional sense of what they were providing to you. They had an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance. They believed that they were doing so much for you. When they were the ones that were the inconvenience for you. You could have been doing so much better without them. You would have been so much happier. You could have achieved so much more. And deep down they know this. But it's not something that they want to reflect on. They would rather live in their fantasy world where they are perfect. And you are the one who wasn't good enough for them. Although deep down they know that you are doing so much more than what they deserved. They know that there wasn't an equal exchange. You were investing so much of your time, energy and money into them and not even getting a fraction of that back in return. You were losing out. You were being deprived of an opportunity. You were unable to take advantage of and benefit from your own capabilities and potential. Because the narcissist was holding you back. They were preventing you from achieving your best. You can only be as great as the people you surround yourself with. If you've got people in your life who are constantly weighing you down, you're not going to get very far. But the narcissist was so delusional and arrogant that they actually believed that they could do better without you. Because they had tricked themselves into believing that they were greater than you, even though they weren't bringing anything to the table. They had to do this because otherwise they were forced to reflect on how they were not good enough. And that is something no narcissist is going to entertain for a long period of time. If things are not going right in their lives, it has to be something to do with you. You must not be doing enough for them. They can never question their own abilities because in their minds they have to think that they're perfect. It's a coping and defense mechanism for how worthless and insignificant they really feel inside. And those are the feelings that they project onto you. They try to make you feel that way. They invest so much of their time and energy into this distorted way of thinking that they actually start to believe it themselves. They actually start to believe that maybe they are better without you.
the narcissist eventually brainwashes themselves into believing that you are beneath them as a coping and defense mechanism for how they really feel about themselves. And not only that, but they will brainwash themselves into believing that anyone could be better than you. Which is how they are able to discard you without a second thought and start something new with the first person they see because they really believe at this point anyone is better than you they had to see you in this way to protect themselves from how they really feel about themselves but this is where the narcissist gets into trouble because this distorted mindset has led them to be careless and thoughtless of the consequences of their actions which is why in this phase of recklessness they will often downgrade they will end up with someone who is far beneath you someone who is less attractive less successful less intelligent but they're still thinking that they found someone better they're not thinking rationally because they're still operating from the fantasy world inside their minds. At first they really think they're doing so much better without you. They think you're missing out. They think you must be miserable without them. Because they have an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance. They think they're so much greater than what they actually are. And as the love bombing phase continues with their new source. They think everything's great. They think they made the right choice. Once the honeymoon phase wears off with a new source, the narcissist begins to realize what a terrible mistake they have made. They start to see all of the flaws and imperfections of the new source. They start to realize that they're not as great as they thought they were. They're human, just like you. And they begin to reflect on the times that they shared with you. They begin to remember how much easier life was with you. How much free time you had to spend with them. How much extra cash you had for them to spend. Because these are the things that the narcissist will miss. Your time and attention. Your money. That's all that really matters to the narcissist. And when they move on to a new source. It's often with someone who doesn't have as much free time as you do. Maybe they're working all day every day. Maybe they don't have enough spare cash to fund their extravagant lifestyle. Now instead of eating out at a fine dining restaurant, they're eating food from a can. Instead of going to Gucci or Prada, they're buying used clothes off eBay. These are the kinds of things that the narcissist is going to miss. This is what is going to make them regret leaving you. Because after all, it's all about what you can do for them. It's all about how you can make their lives easier. These narcissists don't want to do anything for themselves. They expect you to provide everything to them. And when they end up with someone who doesn't have the means to do anything for them, That is when they really begin to regret leaving you. It's a cold world out there. You can't always have what you want whenever you want it. Life isn't as easy as they may have thought while they were with you. 
but it's not until a few weeks or months after they leave you until they begin to realize that and by that time it's too late by that time you will have moved on you will have realized what you were dealing with and they won't be able to come back you will have seen them with a new source and recognize why it never worked out with you because what you're seeing now that's the type of person they belong with someone of like kind they go looking for people who are greater than them but that's not where they belong they don't know how to play their part they don't know how to function around a person of a higher caliber all they did was try to bring you down to their level because they were envious and jealous they felt inferior to you and rather than trying to learn from you and what it took for you to get to where you are today they try to tear you down you may not see it right now but the biggest favour the narcissist ever did for you is discarding you because all they ever did was place limitations and restrictions on you all they ever did was hold you back from living your life and now they're gone you finally have time to think for yourself you finally have time to breathe and no matter what they may have taken from you you can always rebuild which is something that they cannot do because they don't have the tools to build anything on their own and they often end up with people of a similar nature people who don't know what they're doing or where they're going people who are constantly looking at other people for direction you never needed them they needed you and that is why they will soon regret leaving you Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions, and join the support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.